Toasters. There's been a controversy brewing between Lizzo, the musician Lizzo, and the comedian A. Reed Spears about some comments uh, A. Reed Spears made about Lizzo and a rebuttal Lizzo made uh, to A. Reed Spears or any detractors out there, any any so-called haters out there. She had a message for them. Uh, even Mike Epps got involved. The comedian Mike Epps got involved in Lizzo's defense and kind of criticized uh, A. Reed Spears. Man, I want to get my take on it. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Toasters, go ahead. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Also, share the content. That's very important. Share the content. Get more subscribers. I'm trying to really get to 1,000 subscribers, man, by the end of the month. Uh, maybe mid-month. Maybe that's pushing it, right? The end of the month. Maybe that's pushing it. But by the mid of next month, the middle of next month, get to a thousand subscribers. Start monetizing this channel, man. Just show your support. If you appreciate the content, like the content, share the content, man. Spread the word about the content. So you know that's free. Yeah. So I was watching the YouTube channel Art of Dialogue, man. That's a great channel. I love that brothers interviewing skills um i love his his guests love his take just good content to me um even his camera work i love his camera work i've seen the growth and you guys are gonna see the growth in me too so i've seen his growth as far as his cameras uh his lighting you know his questioning i've seen the growth and so i really uh salute that brother's channel the art of dialogue now a Reed spears the comedian a Reed spears was on there and I feel like Art gave this brother an alley -oop. Knowing A. Reese Spears is a comedian, knowing he does not bite his tongue, does not hold back. Out of the blue, Art asked A. Reese Spears, so what do you think about Lizzo? That was kind of random. You know, so I, do, I definitely feel it was an alley -oop. You know, you knew what he was going to do, man. He was going to slam dunk that thing, and that's what he did. So A. Reese Spears goes on to say, you know, cute girl, beautiful face, but Lizzo reminds him of the shit emoji. And I ain't, ain't going to lie, y'all cracked up because I automatically had a visual of that shit emoji. And then how would think, you know, visualize Lizzo looking naked. And that's not fat shaming. It's not, you know, down in the big girls or anything like that, man. I've been with a few big girls. So that that's not a... Uh, that's not that's not doing you know trying to degrade them right but it's funny it's funny man um he goes on to say she look like a uh you know some mashed potatoes i thought that was funny because it's a visual you get in your head of the mashed potatoes or the shit emoji it was like damn man dude went in so i thought it's funny and i thought it was fair game i don't think it was foul i thought it was fair game uh, he's a comedian and my belief is that was that's what we want from our comedians, man. They they speak on things that are not politically correct. They have a view, uh, a stance, a perspective that's not politically correct. And a lot of times we have these same thoughts, but we can't say it because we have too much to lose. We'll be criticized, a judge a different a different way than a comedian. And so uh, that's why we go to comedy shows. That's why we watch comedies uh because they say things that we think or have thought but can't say publicly but we say in the privacy of our home maybe and we're able to release they give us a release of, of things that have been thoughts and emotions and feelings that have been bottled up and so uh that's their job and so i think this brother uh was in his lane as a comedian now a lot of people, a lot of people thought differently, and that's their prerogative. They can do that. But what surprised me is like a comedian, another comedian, a fellow comedian like Mike Epps will criticize A. R. Spears for being a comedian. You know, I just, I didn't understand that. Uh, but as I looked into it and I, I thought about it deeper, Mike Epps really never goes in 
on people uh, about social occurrences or social issues. He doesn't take the comedic role. Uh, he will go in on people like Kevin Hart, which is weird, right? He goes in on fellow comedians, uh, should be in a brotherhood with him, but he doesn't go in on social events or social uh, personalities or, or uh, just, just you know, alley-oops that are out there waiting on him. He doesn't go in. And that's his style. But I think he has to respect A. Reese Spears for doing things his way. He is a comedian. He's doing his job. Now, people have said that there's a difference from being on a social media platform as a comedian and being on a stage doing stand-up. But I, I don't think there's a difference. I just don't think there's a difference. I want my comedians to be comedians, period. Uh, and to be honest, Mike Epps was, was semi, you know, one of my top comedians a few years ago. But man, listen, man, he hasn't he hasn't done anything funny in a while. Even his stand-ups recently haven't been funny. So he needs to get back to being funny, like A. Reese told him. He needs to get back to focusing on funny and uh, be a comedian. You know, now if he's switching gears, switching lanes, that's fine. But you can't criticize someone uh, you was in a brotherhood with someone who's doing what he's supposed to do, and that's being a comedian. So I think it's fair game. Now, on a serious note, yeah, Lizzo needs to needs to really take care of herself. And it's going to be difficult to do. It's going to be challenging because she's a woman. And guys, as you know, man, I, I've been on this uh, health journey, been working out daily, eating right, eating clean, drinking my water, uh, Hadn't had any hard liquor in, in, in about over two months. Uh, I do do a beer, you know, occasionally during the week. But I like beer, Michelob Ultra. Man, that's down there like water. But um, do do I still smoke my cigars. You know, that's my vice. My cigar is my vice. So, you know, you know everybody got a vice. You know, you know food, eating unhealthy really isn't my vice. Um, you know, so... And I can give up the liquor easier than I want to give up the cigars. So I don't even know if liquor is a vice, but I love the cigars. And so everybody got a vice, man. You just got to pick your poison. You know, everybody, don't care who you are. You got something going on that is not healthy. And cigars are not healthy for me. But that's what I choose to do. But I choose not to do other things. And, and some things I have never done. But you can't have many vices and do a bunch of unhealthy things and think you're going to live a, a, a healthy life or a progressive life or, or a rich life. It's just not possible, man. You got to give up something or a few things. Uh, you got to pick your part, your poison, point blank. Uh, Lizzo uh, has to work on her health. It's going to be difficult uh, for a few reasons. Women don't lose weight as easily as men. So I work out during the day, early in the morning, man. I get up at 6 o'clock, meditate, stretch, and I get at it. I get at it, man, with my running, my walking, my weights. I get at it. Um, and then, you know, throughout the day, I fast, and I, I eat healthy, I eat clean. I don't work out at night. Now, I'm going to start doing two days. But with women... A girl like a woman like Lizzo, a person like Lizzo, she probably to get to where I'm at, man, I've lost 25 pounds in two and a half months. For her to do that, she would have to do two a days. You know, our bodies are different. The man and the, and the woman bodies are made differently, as we know, with the estrogen, testosterone, we know it's different. So she would have to do double the work I think I I do to even lose this 25 pounds I've lost in two and a half months. That's just the way it is, man. You guys uh, pick up fat easier. And, uh, you know, that's just what it is. Uh, not only that, she's she's rich or wealthy. So she has a lot of enablers around her, a lot of yes men, yes women around her. So who's going to have that real talk with her? Who's going to tell her straight up, hey, baby girl, you need to lose some weight. You're getting big. This isn't healthy. Who's going to have that talk with her? Who's going to have that talk with her that's in her circle 
when when Lizzo's in a position to say, or and probably has done this, oh, you're having a problem with your rent, oh, I'll pay it up for a year. Your car broke down, I'll go to the BMW dealership and just pick out what you want. Uh, hey, I'm going on a trip. You know, I'm going on a trip to Paris uh, for two weeks. Come with me, everything paid for. Uh, so who in her circle is able to have that real talk, that honest talk? It's difficult. It's difficult, man. It's difficult because uh, she has so much influence and she can make life for her friends and her circle more more uh, convenient, uh, more comfortable. And, uh, you know, so who's willing to jeopardize that comfort? Who's willing to do that and just have that honest talk with her as a loved one, as a friend? Not many. Not many. So it's going to be very difficult for her to change lanes, but it is possible. It is possible. Now, another thing is, you know, you know, when I really started knowing about Lizzo is when she was at some basketball game and was twerking, man, showing her ass, her bare ass, you know, and uh, she was applauded for that. Some people criticized her. A lot of women applauded her for that. Hey, to each his own, right? To each his her own. But, you know, you can't have it both ways because if you fast forward, she was crying on social media about being fat shame or being criticized. She was crying about being judged because of her weight. Now, is, is one or the other. Are you happy being fat or are you not happy being fat? I think she's not happy. I think she masks her unhappiness by saying she's winning. But in her eyes, winning is having the fame and the money. Man, listen, that stuff is superficial. It can go, it can, it can, it can be wiped out tomorrow, right? It can be wiped out tomorrow. What's real is your mental health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. That's what's real. That's what's real. I wouldn't even say your personality is real. I don't even think our personalities are 100% real, including mine. That's a, a, a level of masking, what we want to show the world. But how we feel spiritually, emotionally, um, yeah, mentally, that's what's real. So the money and the fame, if that, you know, depicts winning, hey, man, you, you got to go deeper. But evidently, she's not happy being fat, being overweight, because... She attacks back and she cries about it. So, um, yeah, she just needs to be real with herself. Hopefully the people in her circle can be real with her and uh, she can get that get that weight off, man, because she's a big girl, man. She's 5'10", and, man, she's probably, I don't know, 350, close to 400 maybe. You know, talented girl, though, beautiful girl. And so, uh, yeah, hopefully she can do that. But another thing that's ironic is it would be Avery Spears, right? He is a comedian. It's fair game. But, man, about about five years ago, I was looking at this brother. And I was like, man, this brother looks unhealthy. His skin looks unhealthy. He has black circles around his eyes. Face very, un, like, a puffiness that's unhealthy. Just didn't look healthy, man. No muscle tone. And so this is what I was saying, viewing this brother about five years ago, that he looked very sickly. Like, I thought the brother had diabetes or, or something was going on with this brother, man. His skin had discoloration. And, yeah, just didn't look look healthy at all. So it's kind of ironic that he would be the one. Although it's fair game, he's a comedian. But he would be the one criticizing her health and saying that people need to step it up and uh, motivating her getting healthy. Uh, so. Yeah, man, we all need to take a stand at being more healthy. Uh, so, you know, he's he's in he's in fair he's in fair lane, fair game, and and uh, telling jokes about her. That's what he does. But man, we all, including him, need to take a look at ourselves. It's like, how can I be a better person, man? We should be good and happy with where we are right now with ourselves right now. But we should all be progressing and striving to be better tomorrow. We all, yeah, don't be depressed about where you are right now. You are where you're supposed to be. 
you are what you deserve to be and so progress to be better each day that's what i'm doing you know but uh that's what we should all do but yeah man this is fair game he's not he's not in the foul zone um but yeah just put in that work y'all put in that work let's better ourselves man let's be healthier it's always toasters from me to you love peace